Welcome back everyone. Today we will explore a situation with more than nine groups of 10 using the RDW process. So let's get started. Go. Pencils come in packages of 10. There are 14 boxes. Now the question is, how many pencils are there in all? I'm going to show you one way to solve this. I'm going to draw boxes of 10 pencils that look like this. This represents one package of 10 pencils. Remember, pencils come in packages of 10. Now it told me there were 14 boxes. So I need to draw this 14 times to represent 14 boxes. So count along with me. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Did you notice? I am drawing in 10 frame way, but this time I did it horizontally. Remember, 10 frame ways helps us keep our drawings organized. And it also helps us group our numbers when we are ready to make a new unit. Now, I have drawn pencils in packages of 10 and 14 boxes. So here, I know that 10 tens makes 100, right? That leaves me with four extra boxes here. I can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. Now I have 40 extra pencils and together 100 plus 40 equals 140. So, how many pencils are there in all? There are 140 pencils in all. Now let's look at the next question that builds on this one. Here we go. The principal wants to have 300 pencils for the second graders for November, December, and January. How many more boxes of pencils does he need? You may recall, we already have 140 pencils because we had 14 packages and in each package, we had 10 pencils. So we had 140 pencils. Now he wants 300 pencils. So we need to keep counting from 140 until we get to 300. That will help us know how many more packages of pencils he needs. We're at 140. Let's keep counting by tens until we get to 300, okay? How now allow with me? 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. We're at 200 now. I added 60 pencils in six group of tens. That's six tens, okay? Now we're at 200. Let's keep counting until we get to 300. Here we go. 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. Now for this, I added 100 pencils in 10 groups of 10. 10 tens. Now I'm going to add the 60 pencils that we added here and the other 100 pencils that we have here. So 60 plus 100, that gives us 160 pencils. We could also write this in unit form, which will help us know how many boxes. So 6 tenths plus 10 tenths equals 16 tenths. If I have 16 groups of tens or 16 tenths, then I know I need 16 more boxes of pencils to have 300 pencils. So how many more boxes of pencils does he need? The principal needs 16 more boxes of pencils. Remember, I started with my 14 boxes over here, but to get to 300 pencils, 
I had to add 16 more boxes. That's what you see in black. That gives me exactly 160 pencils, which together with my 140 over here is 300 pencils. We're not done yet. There's one more question that builds on this. Let's look at that question. Principal needs those 300 pencils for the second graders. Remember, we had 14 boxes, and we know that he needs 16 more boxes. But let's look at this. The principal found seven boxes in the supply closet and four boxes in the desk drawer. Now, does he have what he wants for the second graders? Well, we need to go back and get our pencils boxes laid out. Remember, what you have here are the 14 original boxes we already have. And these black boxes are the boxes the principal needed to buy in order to have 300 pencils. But remember, he did find seven boxes. So let's add those seven boxes to the 14 boxes that we already had. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just added the seven boxes that he found in the supply closet. Now, he also found an additional four boxes in a desk drawer. Let's add those four boxes now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now, how many total boxes does he have now? Let's count using the groups of 10. So here we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. He now has 25 boxes of pencils and each box had 10 pencils. We know this is 100, right? And here's another 100. And our five pens over here is worth 50. So 100 plus 100 plus 50, that is equals to 250. We only have 250 pencils. Remember, the principal needed 300 pencils. So does he have enough boxes for the second graders? No, he does not. He still needs one, two, three, four, five. These are the boxes that the principal still needs to purchase in order to have enough pencil for the second grade students. So he will need five more boxes of pencils.